Hi, hi everyone. I'm really happy to be here together with you in this lovely city. Rainy weekend, but still. Thank you for inviting me for such such an amazing on co conference, and I'm really happy here to help you to learn more about augmented reality advertisement and why it's always good to try before you buy. My name is Anastasia Miroshnichenko. I'm from Berlin, but originally I came from Ukraine. I'm an expert WebXR developer, at least an expert in my sphere, and I'm responsible for augmented reality on a web. I'm working at St. Elmo's. It is an advertising agency consisting over 200 of professionals all around the, uh, Germany, and we are good in experiential con content, and we bring storytelling and campaigns, dif different AR solutions to our brands. So, as I already said, we are using multi-reality storytelling to break up the rules and bring the new wow effects to, to show our clients what is possible. And so, one day, people will wake up and realize that augmented reality is here. And uh, it happens a lot of question about this sometimes overhyped sector, but the biggest question is how it actually make money. How many of you have your phones in your hands right now? Yeah, as you see, it's already 2020 and people still are keeping phones in their hands. And everything that is happening right now in technological sector is going around uh, phones. So, and ad advertisements are really keeping an eye on AR because this is the next step. This is a new level of how we can interact with our customers, how we can help them to play around with the product, to adapt it to your needs and see what is possible more than it's only shown. And actually, XR can help that. But what is XR? Do you know? Yes, XR is for extended realities. And actually, it contains everything that you can see here. Like 360 video, you already know, it's just a cardboard and, and your phone and you're rolling around on your chair to see some 360 videos. Virtual reality can be delivered with Hoculus or Vive. So ba basically, it's your reality absolutely replaced with a virtual one. Augmented reality is where the phones come on. And this is an experience when you overlay your real world with some type of, uh, with some type of digital layer on top of it. And mixed reality, all of you, I guess, have already heard about the HoloLens. It helps to interact with augmented reality, for example, with the gestures, with the light estimations, with ob ob object occlusions, and so on. So all of that together happens to name XR. But still, the key te te technology in this sector is augmented reality. And what do we know about that? It's that it contains about from native AR applications, web AR, and social media. Let's get a bit closer. Uh, some of you probably know that you, you need to install an applications to be able to see the augmented reality happening on your phone. But we also ha have a web solutions for, for that. Like for example, using only HTML and and a JavaScript, we can bring the augmented reality experience right on your table, helping people use only their phones and nothing else is needed. Also, for web AR experience, we can have uh, AR quick look with, from Apple, which is using USD set format and model, model viewer for Android, which is using GL, GLTF models. 
the Apple is going forward into AR and they already implemented high definition freedy models which can be placed where on every su surface you can get and the google with their ar ads can already help you to visualize an object just right typing in, in, into a search like shark penguins al astronaut and you will get them immediately staying with you in your room So, uh, going to a social media, yeah, thanks. It's, it is about a Facebook and Instagram. I guess all of you already know the Spark Studio from, from a Facebook. It's actually a really good engine who plays a augmented reality experience for most of users. But the problem is that the new generation preferred not to use a Facebook. It's more for our older people <laughs> yeah if you want to show some pro product to a teenager it's probably need to be an Instagram I guess all of you know about the face filters and Sparkyard studio so as I already said we also have a Google Ads and a YouTube is uh, coming on with its own try on features so, for example, watching a video on a YouTube, you can immediately experience some new products on yourself. But talking about a makeup, it's really in interesting case. Because when you are buying a makeup, you are not really buying a makeup. You are buying a, a result that the makeup delivers to you and it's always very difficult to buy for example lipstick on online because you never know how it will fit to you and uh, here the web xr comes up because without n n no need of expensive headsets no need of install and applications you can just grab your phone and already try it out here with a Newspapers experience is a more like worldwide used example. It it helps a, a people to extend the information behind behind the print editions. Like for example, if yesterday there were a football game and you did, didn't a, well and you wasn't able to see it, well just just do not buy a newspaper and see the key scenes which were happened. So as soon as we hear a JavaScript room, let's see a bit of code. But don't be scared. You don't need to know nothing specific like an HTML JavaScript. It's really, really simple. And I guess everyone of you can do that. Remember uh, about augmented reality on the web? We still remember that it's just a normal web page. And everything that is built in is happens not in 2D dimension but in a 3D and, res and uh, responsible for a 3D we have a web graphics a library did someone try this out already WebGL okay you heard about that perfect you know that it could be quite like com complicated right but and uh, actually this all piece of code is required to write only one small triangle and you know that a 3D ob object can contain thousands of them. So we are not going to di dive deeper in into this. Luckily for us, a lot of uh, frameworks were created, like for example, FreeJS or A-Frame, a Play Canvas, Babylon.js, and, and many others, which are built on top of WebGL and have and helps us just uh, normal developers to create 3D graphics much more faster. And there are different web AR extensions that help us to bring our 3D object into the real life. Like for example, the ARGS, uh, which example I will show you soon. 
Uh, it's an open source JavaScript li uh, library. You can find it on a GitHub. Just using few lines of code, you can immediately bring your model into the real world. Eight wall guys are also very interesting projects from the guys from California. It's good for uh, surface es estimating image targets, and they are really step ahead of web AR solutions. And as I already mentioned, mentioned it's a Apple Quick Look and a model viewer from Google, which is already built it in into your Safari or Chrome. So first, before we start creating a project, we need to define which type of, of project we want to create. 15 minutes, oh mine. Okay, <laughs> I, will, I, I will be fast. We have an image markers, which, which is developed with free open source li library ARGS. We have an image targets from Edswall. It's free to could develop on your uh, laptop, but you will need to pay for a license if you want to push it to the audience. And as I already said, Edswall has a surface est estimation. Uh, let's go next. So I will show you the short example using the a-frame, did you already try it? It's very good for us lazy developers just to write few lines of code and do not go deeper into FreeGS and, Web, and WebGL. It's also a, an open source and you don't need to learn a JavaScript to be able to write it. So you just go to a website, grab a CDN link and uh, you are able to create some experience. I will show you very quick quickly how to put a basic 3D model on top of a hero marker, which is a default marker for AR. And this is all the code which is needed. How many of lines is? Uh, one, two, three, four, like seven, right? Which is, seems not really com complicated. Let's go step by step. First, as I already said, we are going to the A-frame web website, grab a CDN link and add into our head. Then, with an A-frame, we're creating a scene. And actually all AR magic which we want to create will be written inside. After we are adding an entity with our 3D model. What is good for A-frame, they have a assets. It's an assets management system. It helps our assets to preload faster. So actually our 3D model will be loaded as soon as our page is loaded. So it's quite fast. Then actually if we load our model, it could happen that it's very huge. Like for example, if you just export it from Unity or Blender, it's the meter, one meter in, in a unity is like 100 for a web. So you will, would need to scale it many, many times down. Also, as soon as we have an animated model, we need to add an extension for animation. And in here, I use an A-frame extras and add an animation mixer attribute to my model. So finally, let's add the augmented reality. For this, for that, I already said I'm going to use ARGS and the hero markers. Hero, hero markers are default for augmented reality on the web, and it is some sort of QR codes which can be easily recognized by the camera on your smartphone. For each markers, we can define different 3D scenes. So. To, to be able to do that, we will add a, CD, a CDN link, link to ARGS into the head. Then we are calling our ARGS uh, ja JavaScript into a scene and add the embedded ad attribute, which will remove a full screen style can can canvas from our experience. And the last, we are add, adding a market tag just, just, just to show that we want this model seem under this particular marker. And this is.
just a few lines of code and you can already get the amazing experience on a web. But it's actually not really practical for advertisement because we are living in a new era when you want to get everything at once. Like our customers all, all always said that they need the information about the product right here, right now, and they don't want to click like a thousand buttons to be able to see that. And it's possible. Like for example, in this case with uh, Modelo Beer, you can e e easily add 3D experience to a billboard. So you you will not see the boring bill billboard advertising some bottles of beer, but you can already see a, a beautiful picture of or maybe some piece of storytelling to get some atmosphere and try it on. Or for example, an advertisement of a basketball players. Why just do not throw the ball in the basket together with him? Like hip, yep, and you can throw it out. <laughs> Which is pretty fun. Um, I will show you one more experience about a printing advertisement that we already developed for our Eterna client. This, this is how we can add augmented reality into a magazine. And it works pretty stable and, as I said, is accessible to any uh, our user who has a phone at least not older than five years. But here, uh, I will show you different pot potential issues you, you can face with. Like, for example, uh, different mag uh, magazines uh, have different uh, for, uh, formats. Like, for example, the size of a page can can vary. It can be thinner, it can be taller, and for each experience you need to load appropriate marker. So sometimes you have like a thousand, not a thousand, a hundred image markers to, just to show one simple ex experience. But how n not, n not to get lost there? Here we are using a URLs. Like for example, in the URL we can add which, which issue a customer will scan which page it will be and then depending on that you can, you can load appropriate marker and show appropriate video. Also the, the most common issue is very bad mobile connection. Uh, <coughs> it, it could be really a prop a problem, ask your, your user to wait until your experience will load. So please make it easy and light and simple. Do, do, do not put very huge 3D mod or models, very, very big videos. Try to make it light, lighter than at least five megabytes. Also, my favorite issue is a battery, uh, low power mode. Sometimes uh, iPhones or Android phones are going in this uh, bat battery sa saving mode and then you, you realize that no experience is working and you start panic and calling to the client that nothing is works, tomorrow is, is a de deadline and everything that. Don't worry, stop, just check your battery first. Because low power, power, power mode removes all AR uh, actions from your phone. Just switch, switch it off and it will run. Also, don't, don't create your experience very com complex. Try to keep it simple and clear to, to your user. Teach your user to c navigate with a basic steps, like for example, tap here, move, move, move around, flip your camera, and don't ask a user to make a lot of a move, a move, a movements because it's still a new technology and we, need, and we need to teach our customer how to use it. So as Einstein said, everything should, should be made as simple as, as possible, but not simpler. And for us as a developers, it's also very important to keep our code clean. Uh, please keep care about your consoles, 
keep care about the arrows because uh, any, any of you can can go and uh, check a code and all of us will will want to be able to read it to understand how it was developed so keep your code in order and yeah with your help we we can make the invisible a visible and it's actually all what i wanted to say yeah thank you Thank you. So, who has the first question? You're a bit shy. It's cute. Ah, thank you. I have a question. Um, when you put these markers in, in, in magazine, in paper magazine, uh, how well used is it? Uh, uh, I mean, 10,000 readers, how many use the mm -hmm. ER experience? How many users can use our AR experience in a different um, magazines. Of course, we are using Google Analytics and uh, uh, Google tracks to and metrics to count how, how many experience are running. And actually, it's like uh, maybe 20% of the users. Just because it's also very important to to have a good design experience. Like if you if you point a QR code on top of of your ad, a uh, user will, will see it imme immediately, but he might think that, okay, it's probably a link to a website, nothing important will, will happen, right? So you need to leave like a small instructions, like for example, hey, look, here is a experiment and also you you can promote your AR experience in different uh, social media channels like for example you, with an influencers you you can just record a small uh, live video t uh, talks about how he's he's using AR how it's uh, seem easy how how it's uh, light and working on yeah so unfortunately not a lot of people Hello. Yes. Uh, thanks for the presentation. Uh, with the yeah, I've got a very similar question. Like with the billboards, how do you attract the user to even know that there is an experience to be had? I wouldn't know if I was just walking past the like the beer billboard to even get my phone out to, to sort of um, absorb the experience. So yeah. So how how we can attract a user for this this particular bill a bill a billboard? It's all about the design. A design should n n navigate a user to come here to find a QR code to to be able to unlock a camera and and go to a experience. Unfortunately, not all customers know that, for example, f to read a QR code, you you don't need to download a specific app anymore. It's all already built in into a camera. So yes, we need to educate. Educate our customers first. Thank you. Thanks. Um, uh, yeah. Um, what is the conversion rate? Um, Ali, uh, you just told us that uh, at least 25% of people use the, yeah, the the mobile application or at least their phone to to use VR. And on these 25%, how many? user actually buy the product, uh, and generally speaking, is it better than normal uh, redirection to a website? Yeah, it's also a good, good, good question, how many uh, customers are finally buying a product after visiting their experience. We also use a, a tracking for a buy buttons here and using a, his, a history from where the user came. And actually, with this T-shirt I show you in a in a magazine, it was sold out in two weeks. Yeah, so probably the percentage of users who finally buy a product is pretty high because the experience is new, it's wow effect, and it's super hyped technology. Yeah, thank you. 